Are you wondering what are Mila vacuums and are they any good? Then you are in the right place. I currently own a cordless Dyson and a canister Mila and I know they are both big purchases. So I'm here to give you some info that can hopefully help you with your vacuum cleaner buying process. I already did a video on the Dyson V8 versus the V10. So if you want specific info on that, make sure to check out that video, which I will link in that description box below. The video you are on right now will go into all the details on the Mila canister and my honest answer to the question, are Mila vacuums worth the price? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Maria and my channel is all about being creative. I mostly share creative inspiration like DIYs, recipe videos, and fashion lookbooks. So if you like those types of things, make sure to hit that subscribe button now. Even though I focus on creative topics every once in a while, I like to share large purchases that I've made with my honest opinions on them because I know that I always do a lot of research before making a big purchase. So I want to help you out with these reviews. Okay, let's get right into this honest vacuum cleaner review of the Mila Cat and Dog Vacuum Cleaner. First of all, the vacuum that I have owned for about four or five years is the classic Delphi C1. From what I've read, this is no longer part of Mila's regular line and the most similar one is the Mila C1 Cat and Dog Classic Vacuum. I think they just changed the name. It actually almost looks identical to the Delphi. It just looks like they slapped on the name Cat and Dog and it is offered at the same price that I paid for mine several years ago at $699. And it actually comes with a few extras that mine didn't. And I will link the newest model in the description box below for you so you can easily shop for this. The reason I chose this model is because after all of my research of the different Mila models, I think it's the best Mila that you can get for the money in my opinion. I have two cats, so I needed something that was powerful, didn't lose suction, and it had attachments that would help out with all the pet hair. I have carpet and tile and wood in the house, so I needed something that would also accommodate all those different floor types. And I wanted to spend the least amount of money that I could to get the best vacuum that satisfied all of those needs. After testing and returning so many vacuums, thank you Amazon Prime, this is what I ended up with. And I have been really happy with my Mila vacuum and let me explain why. The Mila Classic C1 Cat and Dog Vacuum is designed for pet owners. It's lightweight, it has a charcoal filter to help with pet odors, and it comes with all the tools you need for cleaning up after pets, no matter what kind of flooring that you have. We are going to go over these things in this video. Now it does have a cord, but if you have a big house, even the best, most expensive cordless vacuums might not make it through your whole house. So if you have a lot of square footage and you're serious about your house cleaning, then you may want a corded vacuum cleaner, at least having it as a backup. Now I have the cordless Dyson V8 also, but I will probably be upgrading to the V10 at some point in the near future. And if you want to hear more about that, I did do a Dyson review, which I will link below, but I keep the cordless Dyson by the litter box for quick pickups and I use it mostly for downstairs because that's about as far as that battery will take me. And I keep my Mila upstairs because it has stronger suction for those carpets. The motor. German made appliances are some of the best I have found. They are built to last and this vacuum feels super sturdy. And really, I think it's going to last at least 10 years, if not more. It comes with a 1200 watt Vortex motor, but even with all that power, it's still pretty quiet. I have two tough boy cats, Bentley and Bugatti. Okay, maybe they're not really tough. They do run 
when the doorbell rings. So yeah, they kind of scare easily with loud noises. So my gauge on how loud or annoying the sound on a vacuum is, is to watch how the cats react when I start the thing up in the same room that they're lounging in. Even on high speed, they barely react to this vacuum. There are six speeds, and I would say that I usually keep it on the highest speed. It's just really nice to have those lower speeds for things like, you know, small lightweight rugs or vacuuming the curtains. And you can change the speeds while you're using the vacuum by the quick turn of a dial. The performance. The performance has a lot to do with all that motor power, which gives it the always reliable suction, but it also has to do with the brush head. The two main brush heads fit on the extendable wand, which is made of stainless steel, and it's just really sturdy feeling. I'm a 5'7", and I don't extend it all the way, so I think this would be really comfortable to use probably up to if you're around six feet in height. You can also drop the height pretty low, which I do when I'm vacuuming the stairs. I just find it a lot easier when the handle is really low. With the Mila cat and dog canister, you will get the Electro Plus floor head, which allows you to adjust the height depending on the floor type. Also, you get a parquet twister floor head, which is really agile and it twists 180 degrees all the way to the floor. So it's super easy to get under those couches. You know, that difficult area where all those little hairballs tend to migrate. You will also get the handheld mini turbo brush which I do not have. And it's a motorized hand tool that looks really especially helpful for those couches. And then you also get all the accessories which you can easily carry around on the canister because they fit nicely onto the Vario clip. You will get a dusting brush, upholstery tool, and a crevice nozzle. I use the upholstery tool for my couches and it has worked fine, but I'm sure that turbo brush would be far superior for the job. With access to all these brush heads, pretty much any pickup job on any surface can be handled by this vacuum. I have had no clogs in the hose or the brush heads. They just do their job really well and I've been really happy with it. Some more details. This vacuum is 16 pounds, which sounds like a lot, but it barely feels like anything as you drag it around while you're vacuuming. The canister just kind of follows you around like a little puppy dog, and then carrying it up and down stairs is really easy because of the handle that's on one end of the canister. The only thing that's kind of awkward is when you're going up and down the stairs, there's the wand, and if it's really high, it's just kind of hard to carry. So whenever I'm carrying it up and down the stairs, I always put it, the wand on the lowest setting, and that just makes it a little more manageable. Another thing I like is the 18-foot retractable cord. I ended up keeping an extension cord on mine, though, so the extension cord does always hang out past where the retractable part is, but if you don't need the extension cord, the retractable cord really makes for a tidy appearance to your vacuum. Changing the filters and the bags are really easy. I find the bags last way longer than I expected them to. Even though they do look really small, they get pretty big after they're filled up. I buy the bags in bulk from Amazon and the package lasts me at least a year and it comes with filters which you only need to replace every few bags or so. So by now, I'm sure you can guess my answer to the question, are Mila vacuums worth the price? I have been really happy with my Mila. It has kept going strong all these years and when I need a dependable, don't have to worry about the battery dying or being charged vacuum, then I have this Mila ready to go. I've never had to take it to be serviced in four or five years, and I definitely see myself buying another Mila in five, 10, or maybe even 20 years when mine finally dies. I covered everything I could think of in this video, but if you have any specific questions, 
please leave them in that comment section below and I will do my best to answer them for you. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy day.